What is going on guys, Loco here and welcome to episode 2 of Play Better. Today I have a gameplay from the PS3 by a guy named IB Soldier and um, before we get started I would like to apologize for the video being a little jumpy when I recorded it and when I watched it on the PS3 this was how it looked so um, not really know so much I can do about that but uh, hopefully you will survive. But let's get right into it. Here at the start he will go down to these barrels. So as you can see, when I light them up here, he has cover behind those barrels and the enemy has none. That means that this enemy will be an easy kill for him. So as you saw here, he easily took him out. Um, he will go a little back to the A spawn, but then after that go up to the, to the little hut above B. Um, and while he's doing that, I will just give a little reminder here that um, you guys on the PS3, you can also send me video or... Um, videos tell me about videos i can dissect because i got quite a few from the xbox but only this one from the ps3 and uh, since the first one was on xbox i decided that uh, the next one should be on ps3 so um yeah as you see him here sitting in the b-hut which is a very very good position in domination and taking out this first guy i will stop the video here in a second because he's in a good position now and where he will go uh, out here on the bridge is a very bad position. Being on this bridge gives you very little cover and if you choose to lie down prone very few escape routes if you take fire. Um, as you see him here lying prone um, the enemy who will start shooting at him will have a very easy target to kill and therefore um, I would not recommend going out on this bridge. Stay inside the B hut or just on the ledge to the to the right of him right now. That will give you uh, an advantage point of everybody who tries to go to B. But um, yeah, let's move on to the gameplay again. So as you can see, he will start taking fire and die because he couldn't escape and couldn't get his shot on. Um, the next thing I would like to talk about here is paying attention to your radar. I will have an episode coming up here in a second where. Um, you know, he will put down this claymore and get a flash and then he has a teammate behind him. I will show him here um, You can see when I just move on a frame forward that the teammate disappears And that means that the enemy will, is there and he might be able to get around his claymore So as you can see here, he's not paying attention to what is going on behind him and the enemy will kill him But moving on I would like to talk about his setup here you scavenger pro slide of hand pro and hacker pro since he's throwing a lot of stuns and grenades, I think Scavenger Pro is a good perk for him because he can resupply every time he finds a scavenger pack. Sleight of Hand is, um, my, in my opinion, the best perk in the game, so no comments on that one. However, Hacker Pro, I don't think is the best perk for you in this particular game because you play a defensive kind of role trying to hold down the flags and since the enemy is throwing flashes and stuns of you, on at you I think tactical mask pro would be a better choice because you will have an advantage when they try and flash you and you can still see and shoot the people so um, I would recommend trying to go for that in the future so you could uh, put up put on that that perk when you have a defensive role on your team um, the next little scene here I will use the theater mode to kind of show what he should have done instead of what he did so um, let's get right into it so as I move the camera around here to show that he should have gone in here, I will let the, the video play forward. Um, as you can see there will be two guys coming up uh, from behind the B-Hut and he will take out one and then get taken out by the other. If he would have stayed behind here, he would have this little green area as cover and um, that would make him a harder target to see and he would probably have been able to take out both guys. So uh, next time, choose your surroundings better and stay behind cover if possible. As he respawn and put in his UAV, the enemy would put up a blackbird. And playing against a blackbird is pretty hard because the enemy knows where you are at all times. So um, the way he plays this through is is a pretty good uh, good good example of how you should play. Um, First off, he will your B is being taken and this guy is not paying attention to his radar, so he will get taken out. Um, but the way he moves around the corner here, uh, with knowing that the enemy knows where he is, he turns very slowly and take out the guy. And uh, this might have been Hagger because he saw the Claymore that he was uh, specially aware of. 
uh, going around the corner that patiently, but um, it was it was pretty good the way he did it. Um, as you will see him just trying to hold down the B while the Blackbird is up, paying attention behind him and taking the guy out. And then unfortunately he gets taken out now, but um, that was only so much you could do about that. In this next little scene here, I will I will stop the gameplay again. And this is not because I want to talk about a mistake he made. Um, in my opinion, it was a mistake, but uh, we will never know. As you see him, he get flashed, and here you can hear this little boop. There came one more, so he's about to get flashed one more time. So I want to talk a little about when to uh, shoot and when not to shoot if you're flashed. If you're in an area like he is now, I would recommend not shooting. The blackbird should have been gone by now, and therefore the enemy don't know where he is. So not shooting, lying prone in the grass, and just waiting for the flash to disappear would, um, would probably have made him kill the other guy instead. Instead he choose shooting and um, the enemy will then know on the radar where he is and uh, therefore being easier target to kill. So if you are lying prone in the door where you get flashed then you can shoot because if the enemy will enter he will probably get shot by your bullets because there is no way he can go other than in that road. But uh, moving on with the gameplay again. So as you will see he will fire a lot of bullets, get a few hit markers but unfortunately get taken out. He gets a pretty decent spawn right where he got killed so we can easily go <laughs> up and kill the guy again. I don't know how that happened. But then he makes the mistake as earlier, not paying attention to the radar. You can see the red dot right behind him and he doesn't turn around and then the enemy simply will come up and kill him. So this time he will spawn on the other side of the map and he will rush down to A which I'm not sure why he chose to do but he do it. And the enemy puts up a radar right now and he knows there is an enemy there. I would probably have chosen to go behind again to where he spawned. That would have uh, brought him in a better position to, to try and take out the enemies. But um, that was uh, a fair mistake. I won't comment too much on that. Um, as you see him get over to the B hut again. He will put down his claymore one more time and then go into the B hut. In here he will make a small mistake. I will quickly show it out here you see the the enemy coming down in the in the valley and the enemy starts shooting at him and he won't disappear what you should have done here is lie down prone so the enemy couldn't kill you this game is all about picking your gunfights and since you didn't have a chance of winning this gunfight um, you had to remember that sometimes retreat is the best solution this is something i want all you guys to remember because a lot of the skilled players um, takes advantage of the less skilled players when it comes to this because a lot of the less skilled players uh, tends to stay in the gunfight which they shouldn't and uh, that is what makes the, the better players better and the less skilled players worse simply the main reason that the better players knows when they should uh, retreat from a gunfight um, right here um, he's showing a very good example of why killstreaks are not overpowered always guys have at least one class where you would have uh, a Strella or a Law as a secondary because then killstreaks is nothing. You will have a very easy time taking them down if you are more than one player on your team doing this. So um, always have a one of these classes. Of course <laughs> I enjoy when the other team don't shoot down my air support but um, you guys are probably here to learn something, so I will give you that tip. Have a Streller or a Law to shoot down air support. It's very simple. <coughs> this is the same mistake as he did in the in the hut earlier. Of course, this guy was oblivious, but um, he sees those two guys down in the valley to the left, uh, or the first one, and then he changed to the second one, and the second one starts shooting at him, and he stays in the gunfight. Here again, just lay down prone, retreat a little and the enemy wouldn't have killed you and perhaps would have gone on through. If you would have regenerated your health, you could perhaps have gone up and tried killing him. But um, yeah, remember, pick your gunfights carefully. As he will respawn, he would choose to go up to the rock once again and put down a claymore once again. And that leads me to something I would like to discuss on uh, this particular map. And that is claymores versus motion sensors. 
in my best belief, a lot of people expect a claymore to be there when they climb up to the rock or if they go around the back to the bee hut where you planted a claymore earlier. Therefore, I would highly recommend using motion sensors on jungle. Not many people are running Hacker, of course you are, and Hacker Pro that is, because Hacker Normal doesn't um, make you invincible to motion sensors, but um, Hacker Pro does. So using that instead, it not only does it allow you to get more than one kill, you will also be able to see the enemy coming and therefore be able to waiting for them. And um, since a lot of people is expecting the claymore to be there, they will probably um, try uh, to go around or throw grenades at you. So um, yeah, in my bi my opinion, pick motion sensors instead. So in the last part of this game, he will be sitting here up on the rock and holding down B and if he hear people coming to C he will go down there and take those people out and um, that leads me to to my usual thing that um, I really hope you guys will uh, give this video a thumb up if you liked it because if I get more thumbs up then uh, the chance of me getting more views is, uh, is higher and um, I hope you guys um, would like me to get more views because you are watching this for a reason and uh, episode 1 got a lot of likes um, and views and a good response so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this and not just give me a thumbs up because I tell you to so um, yeah um, give me some thumbs up if you liked it and of course uh, comment on the video if you think something should be improved or or changed in any way um, that will make me a happy man but uh, as he will go up here to the to the rock one more time and uh, take out one guy, I um, I have chosen to 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 kind of show you two other spots where you should defend or where you can defend B from, because since a lot of people expect you to be up on the rock, a lot of people paying attention to that. So the first spot will come here, um, right down below. Um, you see there is a rock. And if you stand behind this, you will do what is called head glitching. So you can shoot over this with the enemies have very little of you to see. So that's a very good spot. From the other side, we have this rock here in the back. And uh, you can do almost the same thing. And this is a very good uh, counter spot to take people down from the rock. But um, yeah, let's move uh, back into the gameplay once again. Um, he sits up here. I don't know if you should have sit up here the, the rest of the game because you you would have won with the with one flag so uh, I would probably have pushed up a little try to get some more kills but uh, yeah you chose to be here and of course um, you're playing the objective which is very good so uh, thumbs up for that but um, I hope uh, you guys learned something from uh, from this video and um, I will thank you all for watching and um, yeah I will See you next time as we see him change to the sniper, take out one guy and at the same time being headshot as the final kill by the other guy. But uh, yeah, see you guys. Bye bye.